Hello viewers, welcome to the new tutorial video today. We're going to discuss about validations in tabular form today. See, here's an uh, here's a tabular form on employees table. See, these are the records, employees records. Now we're going to create a simple and then we will create a, a complex validation on on this tabular form. So let's begin with it. Now we're going to we're going to create a validation on the salary column. And for example, we want we do not want anybody to 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 have the salary more than twenty thousand and neither less than three thousand. Okay, so salary must be between three thousand and twenty thousand. Okay, now let's begin with our validation today. You see, in the column, we're going to create validation on salary column. Right button and create it. You see, create a validation with it now. Click. You see, a validation is already there. Uh, while it was uh, being created, the system has already created a validation, which is the uh, column must be number. Okay. Other than that, we're going to create another validation where which is uh, labeled here as new. Now we'll rename it with. salary check okay salary salary check okay salary not null salary not null the purpose of this validation is to check if the well uh, salary is null or not okay the simple one now what is this type what what is the type of the salary uh, validation is this is only the column is not null. This type of validation will be there, which is the uh, default type of validation. And and when is it gonna do? At the time of submit. When the submit button is clicked, the validation will be applicable. Now save. And one thing you see, this is the message that is the column header must have a value. That is the salary must have a value when uh, the salary will be when the validation will be uh, displayed. It will show salary must have a value. Now let's check it. Let's make it null. Okay, make it null. Remember one zero four. Yeah, you see, salary must have some value. And which one is this? This one is the column, which which is null, and there is, here is the problem. Now we will keep it as it was. Okay. See, no rows updated, zero rows inserted. Nothing has happened actually. Actually, it has uh, rolled back to the earlier stage, and nothing happened here. Now we are going to create a complex validation here on this field only and I think uh, the this example will show how to do this. Now we will extend this validation to something complex and we will uh, change the type of this. Now then we are going to change the name of the uh, validation first. Salary check okay this name will be salary check and what type of validation it will be it will be PLSQL function returning error text this is the uh, most favorite for me so now let's check it create a PLSQL function body so that we can check the error okay declare declare v value number to begin end now if you see you can uh, refer to the column 
with only the column name and the colon in front of it okay so this this is the uh, this is enough to reference to the uh, column yeah, of course this uh, this capability was not uh, were present in or in apex 3 or 4.1 but in uh, from 4.2 this uh, this uh, capability has been uh, added in the apex now you can reference like this there is null then return salary must have some value okay else is end if and if now our validation will be if the salary is less than 3000 or more than 20000 it will provide you a error first we are going to check if the salary is if if salary is less than 3000 then then return re return salary cannot be less than 3000 okay else if salary is greater than 20000 20000 then return return salary cannot be more than 20000 this is just an example this is simple example that we can do and you can make a lot of query here also but now for instance it's a very simple example we're showing here and else it is other than this then there will be else return sorry return now return now means there is no error in this okay if else if in this okay so our validation has been complete okay okay there is no error now save it and then run it okay run now let's make it 20,000 uh, 21,000 okay click on apply changes okay salary cannot be more than 20,000 okay this is the salary so you can manage it like that now we will check if the lower limit is also checked 2000 i am giving 2000 now apply changes See, salary cannot be less than 3000 okay now if i just make it null apply changes okay salary must have some value now if i provide zero here now what it shows it shows that salary cannot be less than 3000 so this is how you create validation on Table of forms. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody.